Thanks for watching another quick tip video from Go Engineer. This quick tip video is going to be focused on utilizing 3D views captured in SolidWorks's model based definition add on. In order to capture 3D model based views, you need to have the add on for model based definition. Once you have that, you'll have a bunch of additional tools for capturing 3D views, producing 3D PDF files, 3D e-drawing files that have your product manufacturing information such as these dimensions in it, as well as 3D step files that will allow you to have the same 3D dimension data in it. So traditionally we want to utilize model-based definition drawings by creating these 3D PDFs and being able to navigate these 3D PDFs to get all the notes that we might have in traditional drawings and all the views that we have in traditional drawings. But it's not always that the vendors like navigating these PDF files, so they'll still require standard traditional ANSI drawings. So let's take a look at how we can leverage our 3D captured views inside a traditional drawing. If you'd like to know how to create these 3D views, watch my getting started with model based definition video or my using sketcher dimensions inside model based definition views because that's what I've done here. I've got model based definition dimensions that can be parametrically changed and I want to mix that with my dimension expert dimensions in a traditional drawing. So here are the steps that you need to do that. It's pretty simple. You use the same steps that you do to create a normal drawing. Make drawing from part, select the template you want to put it on, and then when you're over in your view palette make sure that you have these options checked. You have import annotations because that's telling SolidWorks to bring the annotations in that you already have. If they were just from your sketcher only, you could say design annotations. If you want dimension expert dimensions, then you can click dimension expert dimensions. I want dimension expert dimensions, also known as model based definition dimensions in the uh, command manager tab in 2019. I would also want the 3D view annotations checked because with this checked you'll be able to bring in the 3D annotations that you have in your 3D model already. So I can leverage the dimensioning time that I put in to 3D by going in and grabbing which views I want or need to utilize to create an ANSI standard orthogonal view drawing. So it's really easy to do as long as you have the 3D dimensions and the 2D sketcher dimensions already inserted into your 3D views. If I would have cleaned some of this up and moved these dimensions closer in 3D, they'd have come through cleaner in my 2D drawing. So that's how you leverage your model-based definition 3D views to create traditional drawings with. So I hope that gives you some encouragement to start utilizing the model-based definition dimensioning, formerly known as Dimension Expert, inside of 2019, and mix it with your tolerance dimensions that might be already done inside your sketcher. Thanks again for watching another quick tip video from Go Engineer.